Hello and welcome to another episode of Woodward's Watercolours. Today we're going to be working on our sketchbooks and we're going to be working quickly and we're going to be looking at the quite tricky perspectives of the Rathlin Island West Lighthouse. So come with me and we're going to look at it together. One of the things I love about working in a sketchbook is that you just get to go for it. And it's one of those places that really, you might not show everybody, you're maybe not going to sell it. You feel much less pressure and it's just easier to just kind of get on with it. So what we're going to do is we're using this uh, Sailor Food Demand or Sailor Food A Demand and Pen. And we're just going to start. So I'm looking at the scene and I want to, I need to get the ink flowing here. I want to get the... Um, Marks get them down pretty quick. Once we get the ink going, that should be that bit easier. So I'm deliberately doing this quickly because in some of those lines there, it's not quite right. But because we're going to do this quickly, lifting the, the pen at different points to try and get different qualities of line, which is what I absolutely love about this, the Fude pen. I just think they're absolutely fantastic. Now, some of the interesting things about this as we look at it is it's got these sort of little lines of perspective that are taking a minute to kind of figure out. But I still want to move quickly. I'm adjusting the line ever so slightly here because it's changing a little as it comes up. You'll notice that perspective sort of moves like that as it, as it moves up depending on your, your viewpoint. But the joy of doing this is I'm not getting fussy about this. I want to get the feel of the place. It's also a great way to, if I was going to do, and uh, say, a commission of this or wanting to do a much more detailed drawing of it, then this is my recce. And a sketchbook is a journal and it's also, it's a journal and it's also a place to learn. So that's the way that I'm approaching this this time. And we're getting those little... Just those little details there on the um, side of the lighthouse. And then I've also got these windows, which we're just going to use the black. Now I've got carbon ink in this. So the carbon ink is waterproof. I've also messed up a little bit on the where this actually should be. So let's just draw this line this way. And we're not going to worry because it's in our sketchbook. So... Just trying to notice here where everything is. Just getting some of the detail there. Whenever I'm moving quickly, there's some areas of detail that I really enjoy getting and there's others where it doesn't become that important. Like there's certain windows that I'll take my time to get the detail in on. And then there's other areas where it just isn't that important to me. Now, one of the things that I love about these types of sketches is they're going to be really illustrated and I get to decide what bits to keep in and what not to keep in as always. That's my decision as the artist as to, to what I want to do. And I want to make that really black there. And then we've got this window coming across here. So just getting those in. And then once we've got those in, some of those lines here, then that is us very nearly ready to take this on to adding in a little bit of color. Now I'm gonna make the horizon line nice and straight here. Now we're ready to throw in a little bit of color. Okay, so we are going to do this super quick. So we're going to take some of the this is the watercolor set is the daniel smith um half pan and it's the 24 set so we're taking this cerulean blue here and taking a couple of lifts cerulean blue i normally add in a, just a little bit of the ultramarine to it and we just want to get that in nice and 
freely and easily. Now, I don't really want to touch the horizon line too closely because I want to work really, really quite quickly here because this is where you get that lovely kind of spontaneous feel that you get in a sketchbook. So I'm going to take this existing color that we've just mixed. This is the Thalo Bloom. We're going to add in some of this, I think it's a turquoise. Now, let me just double check that. I'll miss you. It's a cobalt turquoise, but we're going to go back to the Thalo Blue because it's really pretty electric, which is just absolutely lovely. What we're going to do with that is just keep it, keep that moving. Now we want to do it really nice and close to the edges of the lighthouse. So we're just going to keep this moving. Now, if you notice the direction of the water in the actual reference picture is ever so slightly different, but I want to highlight the point that I have just realized in the language is it's a reference picture. It's not, we're not copying this to be photorealist, it's reference. So I'm just going to take this. Now I can actually go closer to the horizon line because I haven't taken it right down. This is where being quite strategic with this makes all of the difference. So we're just going to keep going around this edge here and then we're going to leave that right there. Now, next bit is we're going to focus on the lighthouse. Now, the thing about the lighthouse is we've got the contrast. Now, it's really... Now, my um, brush is carrying some of the strength of that tone from before. So I'm going to take my trusty little bit of baby wipe or tissue or cloth or whatever it is that you're using. And I'm going to take just a, a little bit of that Payne's Grey, which is just absolutely perfect for this roof. And this is where you can see where I made the mistake before, but we're not gonna be too concerned about that. Now, for this one, this is interesting because if you look at the top, it's taken on ever so slightly, a little bit darker. I'm adding just a little bit of Indian red there just to try and capture that feeling that this is a little bit different. And because this really is a hardy sketch. We're not looking to color it in completely. Now, I'm going to do something that might be a little bit risky, but just ever so slightly touch those rooftops. And then we have this, I think it's quite a mingy color. Now, mingy in Northern Irish means a not very nice color. <laughs> those of you who are Northern Irish know exactly what I'm talking about, but I'm taking the brown ochre and adding in just a little bit of the um, the Payne's Grey or Jane's Grey, I think it's Payne's Grey, this one. And it'll get me to that sort of concrete kind of, now I'm going to add in a little bit more of the brown ochre. It's going to take me to that kind of a, a concrete sort of a tone that we know only too well. So much was built in concrete in Northern Ireland and really is not the nicest thing in the world, but it is very interesting to, I'm really pleased with that colour, really feel like I've um, kind of grabbed that. Now I don't want to color the whole thing in too much. We're moving quickly here and we're looking to the shadows. Now the shadows sound like something from the Rings of Power. We're looking to the shadows. Um, anybody else absolutely loving that series? Isn't it just absolutely phenomenal? So what we're gonna do is just bring that shadow across here. There's another very rich shadow just along here, but that could easily bleed, but we've done okay. Just making sure we're noticing those shadows underneath. And there is actually quite a lot of shadow across here on this side. And I'll notice that little bit of shadow just under here and under here. I'm just gonna touch in on the slightest, just on the slightest little pieces. We really don't want to overdo this and just hint at certain little areas. And there you go. It's a really quick sketch. This is a great way, and because look at the state of the paper. The paper, I think it's probably 220 GSM. It's probably not really designed for watercolor. It's buckling like crazy. But what I love is that in my sketchbook, I get to try this stuff out. So I get to try it mixing colors. I just, you know, even that, that mix there for that kind of concrete color. This is what I really enjoy about being in the sketchbook. It's a journal and it's also a classroom for me to learn.
Well, there's a really, really quick exercise and it's such an interesting shape. All of those kind of diagonals and perspectives and the colors and the difference, it's just a lot of fun to try out. Simple scenes like that, that actually could look over really quite quickly. So that reference image is of the Western Lighthouse on Rathlin Island, which is off the coast of Ballycastle in Northern Ireland, which I visited last week with my brother. The sketchbook is the best place to try those things out. I wanted to do it quickly. I wanted to do it simply. There are no layers in that whatsoever. We're just getting colors down to represent the areas and we're noticing the shadows and figuring out how can I actually capture those shadows, mix those colors. You can tell that I'm getting excited. The sketchbook is a journal and it's a classroom. It's a place to play. Now, if you're enjoying these videos, please do share, like, and subscribe. Don't forget to switch on your notifications to get notified of more videos coming from Woodward's Watercolors as always. Thank you so much for watching. Do share with me your attempts at this and have a great rest of your day. And I'll see you sometime soon. Bye-bye for now.